Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists at Airlift, keeping you on the road and in top condition. Today, we'll be installing an Airlift air spring kit on a 2008 Ram 2500 pickup truck. While multiple Airlift kits fit this truck, we've chosen the Load Lifter 5000 Ultimate Kit with part number 88295. The installation of the Load Lifter 5000 kit with part number 57295 will be identical. Fitment details for this truck and an extensive variety of other vehicles can be found at airliftcompany.com. Adjustable air springs help eliminate squat, trailer sway, rough ride, and bottoming out, dangerous towing and hauling side effects. By returning the vehicle to its factory ride height and properly distributing weight to all four wheels. Delivering up to 5,000 pounds of load leveling capacity and featuring an exclusive internal jounce bumper, this no-drill kit is a no-brainer when you need to tow and haul with safety and comfort. Today's kit, part number 88295, will take about two hours to install with common mechanics tools. This overview video doesn't replace your installation manual, so grab yours out of the box or get a digital copy at airliftcompany.com and let's get started. Raise the vehicle on a hoist or jack up the rear and support the frame with safety stands. Then lower the axle or raise the body of the vehicle making room for the air spring assembly. Unbolt and remove the jounce bumpers from the vehicle. Now let's assemble the air springs. Set a roll plate on both ends of the air spring with the rounded edge of each face toward the air spring. Insert the elbow fitting on the top of the air spring, tighten with your finger, then carefully make one and a half turns with a wrench. Place the cylinder upper bracket onto the top of the air spring and tighten securely. Insert the carriage bolts through the holes in the lower bracket and place it on the air spring in an offset position. Make sure the offset is on the air fitting side of the assembly. Using the template provided in the manual, locate the holes marked by an A and securely attach the lower bracket to the assembly using flat washers, lock washers, and hex bolts. To prep the frame for our air spring assembly, attach the frame upper brackets to the frame using the M10 screws and tighten securely. Now, set the assembly onto the axle with the elbow fitting pointed inward towards the center of the truck. Align the slots in the frame upper bracket and cylinder upper bracket and secure them together with 3 8 inch carriage bolts, flat washers, and nylock nuts. Adjust the air spring so the upper brackets and lower bracket are parallel. Secure the lower bracket to the axle using the axle straps, flat washers, and nylock nuts. These should be tightened evenly to 16 pound-feet and retorqued after 100 miles. On the right-hand unit, it's important to position the brake line under the inside carriage bolt and above the outside carriage bolt. Now let's install the airline. Pick a convenient location for mounting your inflation valves, keeping in mind the total airline length you have to work with, and drill two 5 16th inch holes. We'll use the license plate recess here, but other location options include the bumper, wheel well flanges, and under the gas cap access door. To install the inflation valves, place a nut and star washer on the valve. Push them down far enough to ensure 3 8 inch access to the end of the valve. Push the valve through the hole and use a rubber washer, flat washer, and another nut to secure it in place. Tighten the nuts to secure the assembly and push on the valve cap. When cutting air lines, never cut from the side. You leave a jagged edge and ruin the hose. Instead, use a sharp razor blade to get a crisp, clean cut. A hose cutter will also do the trick. Next, we'll route the air lines along the frame to the fitting on the air spring, avoiding sharp bends and edges while giving heat sources at least six inches of clearance. Make sure to run the longest airline path first, cut the airline according to manual specifications, then run the shorter path. Secure the airlines along the frame using the provided zip ties. Slip the heat protector over the airline where the line is closest to the exhaust. Then insert the line into the push to connect fitting. 
To make sure your air lift air spring kit is airtight, inflate the system to 30 PSI and spray a soapy solution on all connections and valves while checking for exiting air bubbles. That just about does it. Remember, you can find more information about your kit at airliftcompany.com and our knowledgeable customer service team is just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.